Hi guys, welcome to Lit Gyan. Let's continue with the third part of MCQs and Modern Writers based on Routledge. The first question is, which of the following works of Auden are in collaboration with Christopher Isherwood? The Dog Beneath the Skin, The Ascent of F6, On the Frontier, or Journey to a War? You have to choose the correct option. The answer is D, all of the above. All of them are written in collaboration. Let's see some explanation. The Dog Beneath the Skin or Where is Francis? A play in three acts. This is the complete title. Do remember by W.H. Auden and Christopher Isherwood was the first Auden Isherwood collaboration and an important contribution to English poetic drama in the 1930. The Ascent of F6, a tragedy in two acts, the most successful play in the Auden Isherwood collaboration, first published in 1936. On the Frontier, a melodrama in three acts tells the story of the outbreak of war between the fictional European countries of Ostnia and Westland. Journey to a War is a travel book in prose and verse by both Auden and Isherwood, published in 1939. It is in three parts a series of poems by Auden describing his and Isherwood's journey to China in 1938, a travel diary by Isherwood. Moving on. Which play of Henrik Ibsen was famously described as an open sewer? An enemy of the people, Beheda Gabler, see Ghost or D. When We Dead Awaken? The answer is C. Ghost because of its theme of hereditary syphilis. The world, the whole world is in a terrible state of churches. The statement is from which play? A. Juno and the Peacock, The, the Shadow of a Gunman, the Plough and the Stars or Deidre of the Sorrows? The answer is A. Juno and the Peacock. The first three are placed by Son O'Casey and form the Dublin Trilogy. Which playwright always wrote a preface to the published texts of his plays, justifying his determination to accept problems as the normal material of the drama? Your options are A. T. S. Eliot, B. Sean O'Casey, C. G. B. Shaw or D. W. H. Auden. The answer is C. G. B. Shaw. What is the name of radio drama written by Dylan Thomas? A. Under Milkwood, B. A Child's Christmas in Wales, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Dog or Rebecca's Daughter? The answer is A. Under Milkwood. Which play of Shaw charts the decline of Britain as a power? A. Pygmalion, B. Heartbreak House, C. John Bull's Other Island or D. Men and Superman? The answer is B. Heartbreak House. Pygmalion reveals Shaw's constant fascination with language famously presented in Eliza Doolittle's Cockney English. John Bull's Other Island was his first real success with the Irish, Irish question. Men and Superman presents the idea of life force. Moving on. Who wrote prefaces to 12 of Shakespeare's plays from 1927 to 47? A. G. B. Shaw, P. W. H. Auden, C. Edward Martin or D. Harley Grenville Barker? The answer is D. Harley Grenville Barker. Which play of Harley Grenville Barker was banned? And this type of questions are very important, so do keep this point in mind. A. The Madras House, B. Waste, C. The Voicey Inheritance or D. All of the Above? The answer is B. Waste. In 1907, Grenville Barker's play Waste was banned due to the topic of abortion and its politics. Which Irish playwright uses the language of the Aran Islands in his plays? This has also been a PYQ. Your options are A. James Singe, B. Sean O'Casey, C. W. B. Yeats or D. George Moore. The answer is A. James Singe. His plays, Riders to the Sea, The Playboy of the Western World and Deirdre of the Sorrows use the language of Ireland and in particular of the Aran Islands of the West Coast to create potent images of their culture and the people in both tragedy and comedy. What is the name of the titular peacock in Sean O'Casey's Juno and the Peacock? A. Johnny Boyle, B. Charles Pentham, C. Peter Nolan or D. Jack Boyle? The answer is D. Jack Boyle. It was first staged at the Abbey Theatre in Dublin in 1924. It is set in the working class tenements of Dublin in the early 1920s during the Irish Civil War period. It is the second of his Dublin trilogy, the other two being The Shadows of a Gunman and The Plough and the Stars. The Plough and the Stars caused riots when it was staged. The Circle and The Constant Wife are plays in which the main female character asserts her independence in a choice of partner. They are placed by A. G. B. Shaw, B. Mogham, C. Noel Coward or D. W. H. Auden. The answer is B. Somerset Mogham. 
The following lines are from which play? The last temptation is the greatest treasure to do the right deed for the wrong reason. A mother in the cathedral, be it the cocktail party, see bleed the spirit or d private lives. The answer is A mother in the cathedral. The Heather Field was one of the first plays staged on the Irish Literary Theatre. It was written by A. Lady Augusta Gregory, B. W. B. Yeats, C. Edward Martin or D. W. H. Auden. The answer is C. Edward Martin. The realistic mining plays of D. H. Lawrence are the first lasting examples of which type of drama of the 20th century? A. Kaleyard School, B. Kitchen Sink Drama, C. Poetic Drama or D. Stream of Consciousness? The answer is B. Kitchen Sink Drama. They are written in dialect and with a carefully naturalistic description of the life of the Nottinghamshire mining community where Lawrence had grown up. They include A Collier's Friday Night, The Daughter-in-Law and The Widowing of Mrs. Holroyd. Moving on to the final question of this video, match the plays of Noel Coward with the theme they deal with. You have private lives, hay fever, design for living and bleathe spirit, which is about a self-obsessed theatrical family, about a successful love triangle, a divorced couple who meet again on their honeymoon with new partners and an eccentric medium helps a first wife to return to torment her husband and his new wife. Let's see the answer. It is option C. Hay fever is about a self-obsessed theatrical family. Private lives is about a divorced couple who meet again on their honeymoon with their new partners. Design for living is about a successful love triangle and Bleethe spirit is an eccentric medium helps a first wife to return to torment her husband and his new wife. That is it for today. You can leave your doubts in the comment section below. Till then, happy learning.